Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today is just going to be a quick one in which I am advancing upon some previous tutorials. So in those I've gone over crouching and I've gone over a footstep system and now today what I'm doing is making it so that when you do crouch your footsteps will be quieter and the AI then makes it harder to detect you so it is a sneaking system. So again I've got a crouching video, a footstep video and also a video on the AI being able to hear you however I'm going to go over that part today as well. So if I hit play, I can show you what this is going to look like. So we can get in, you can see over here we're walking, it says detected as the AI can detect us. But if I'm now crouching and I move, it can't hear us and our footsteps are quieter. But if I go over closer to it, it will be able to hear us when we get close enough. But obviously standing up, it can hear us anywhere. When we're crouching, it can't. So like I say, this is what we make today, a very basic sneaking system. Again, advancing upon some previous tutorials which I have done. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So what we want to do is we want to open up our animation blueprint or wherever it is that you're playing the sound effects from for your footstep. So for me, that's going to be mannequin, animations, third person and MVP. And as you can see here, this is my very basic footstep system. So I have an anim notify in both my running and crouching animations. So when I'm running, when the footstep hits the floor, we're going to play a footstep as you can see there. Again, I went over that in the video. And then when it reaches that notify, it's just going to play this footstep sound effect. And then also in my AI, what I have is I have the AI perception component here with the sensors config of AI hearing. And then what I've done is simply just on target perception updated. If it successfully sensed it, I'm just going to print a string saying detected just to show you as an example. But of course you can make it so the AI will go to the location where it saw them or it will chase the player or anything along those lines. And again, I do have different videos going over that. And then also finally, last but not least, this is how I'm crouching. Simply when I press the button to crouch, if I'm walking, so essentially if I'm falling, I can't crouch or anything like that, it's gonna crouch and it's gonna be a toggle like so. And if this doesn't work for you, make sure that when you select the character movement, you do have can crouch ticked here. There it is under the movement capabilities. So with all that out of the way and done, we can compile, save, close that, going back to our animation blueprint here. So also if I go up here, what you can see is I have this boolean here of is crouching, and that's just obviously so I can then go to and from each of the different crouching states which I have here. And again, for you, this might even just be a blend space. But you wanna make sure you have the is crouching boolean, which is obviously true when you're crouching and false when you're not. Because this is also gonna help us decide how loud we want the footstep sound effects to be, as well as the animations. So what I'm going to do is on this play sound at location, I'm going to open up that, so expand the details, come out of the volume multiplier, because we want to change the volume of it, and we're going to get a select float like so. And close those like that, and what it's going to do is it's going to choose a value of A or B dependent on a boolean value. That boolean value is obviously going to be our is crouching boolean, which we have here. So if is crouching is true, it's going to pick A. And so A wants to be our crouching volume. B wants to be our normal walking volume. So for me, B is gonna be one and crouching I'm gonna have as 0.4. So let's say when we're crouching, we have 0.4 or 40% of the normal volume and B is one or 100% of the normal volume. You can change these values to be absolutely wide if you like, but obviously A is crouching, B is walking, and that now is gonna change the volume of our footsteps for when we're walking and crouching. However, that is only going to change it for us. It doesn't actually affect anything for the AI just yet. That's just an audible cue for the player. So after our play sound at location, we want to get a report noise event. And this is actually what the AI hears. So the player doesn't hear this, but the AI does. So this is how the AI will know where the sound came from, what the sound was, and all that good stuff. So we don't actually need to put in an audio file in there, because again, it's just for the AI. So the noise location, I'm gonna just have as the same get actor location for my normal play sound at location there. So they're playing in the same spot. And the loudness, again, I'm just gonna connect as that select value there. So it has the same volume and the same location as everything else that we're using for the normal play sound effect for the player. So again, the location and loudness are the same as before. And the max range, I'm gonna put as 1500. Obviously change the max range to whatever you want to be. However, I think for my footsteps in this particular project anyway, 1500 is a good range. This is just obviously how close or how far away the AI needs to be 
in order to hear this footstep or this sound effect report noise event here. Again, 1500 is good for me. The loudness we're going to change depending on if we're crouching or not. So if we compile and save, this should work for us. It's very simple. Like I say, all we need to do is report the noise event and change the loudness of that noise event dependent on if we're crouching or not. And you can also change the max range if you're crouching or not as well, so you can get even closer. But obviously, you can customize this to be whatever you like. Essentially, just make the loudness and the max range lower when you're crouching and higher when you're walking. So we hit play, we walk around. The AI is going to detect us, as you can see, by it's saying detected up in the top left there. If I wait for those to come off screen and I crouch and move, it's not going to detect us here. And as you can also hear, the footsteps are quieter as well, and we can get much, much closer to the AI without it hearing us. So it hears us around here, but if we're walking, it hears us all the way out to here. So walking here, crouching, we can get all the way up close to it. And again, this system is very easy to customize to get it perfect for what you want in your project. But I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We set up this very basic sneaking system in which when we're walking normally, it can hear us from around here. And then when we're crouching, it can't hear us as loud or even at all if you wanted to set it like that as well. So we can get much closer when we are crouching. And again, let me also just show you if you are crouching, what you can do is instead just set the value to one. So what you can do is disconnect that select there and instead get another select float with A being zero, B being one, pick A being the same. So now when you're crouching, the loudness will be zero. So if we go up here, we can get all the way up close to it because this is now not reporting a noise event at all, it will, or it is, but with zero volume, so it can't hear us. But again, you can customize this to get it working perfectly for you and however you want. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.